I am Dakar. Welcome, Dakar. Thank you. I see that we're at a webinar. Very, very well. I understand that you want an update on the colonies and the meetings that have gone on between the Earth and the and the alien alliances. That is very well. I can tell you much about that. If there are any questions after I am finished, you may ask them then. But I will tell you that site-to-site -site holographic communication has been approved. However, there are rules and regulations that must be also approved. We will get the first draft of these from your governments on Monday or Tuesday. We will look at them and either agree or disagree on the ways to do things. Hopefully there is not too much bureaucratic red tape and or because we do not feel that that is necessary for this kind of travel because you will not be coming actually site to site but just holographically which is different than an actual site to site uh, event but we are hoping also that you are able to remember a lot more from the holographic event than you did from the uh, spiritual event, the bringing you astrally. So at this point, we are very excited that there are going to be some changes in the way that you are presented in the fourth dimension. You see, you will come from fourth dimension, a third dimension to third dimension, and then move to fourth dimension holographically, which will be a very exciting experience for you. And we're hoping that much memory will be uh, retained in this method. Um, hello, Tucker. Hello. Um, <laughs> um, my question was on, on the site to site. Um, I was wondering if you could be a little more specific on, on that. How is it going to work? Um, what are the rules? Um, what what is needed from us and from you? Well, that is to be seen what the rules are. But I can tell you what holographic site to site will be like in some ways. Instead of going in an astral form, your astral form will actually take on a holographic um, appearance, which means that it will be in a greater density in in a lighter form. The light. You see, the astral is a pure physical form. The holographic is a light form. Does that make sense to you, first of all? Yes. Okay, then you, your astral will take on a light form. We know how to do that. We know how to do that. So on, on that approach, we will bring you holographically, which means that it will be slightly more dense. Light is denser than spirit. Do you understand that? So therefore, you will be able to bring more information back, we are hoping, because you light also goes and it is put into matter. So it goes from spirit to light to matter. You see, the next step would be a sight to sight in a material form. But right now we have learned how to put the astral into light form. Now, as far as the rules and regulations are concerned, they are, they are in charge of drawing up the rules and regulations for this particular kind of uh, transport. And they will give them to us Monday or Tuesday of this coming week. The first draft will be coming. Um, however, I think that there may be delays on it. Because the last thing that we heard were they were there were some uh, different opinions about how it should be done. Most would like it to be done during sleeping hours. Others would like it to be controlled, which we do not want that because they can they do have an ability to control the vision of of this kind of light energy. So it is important that we get the correct rules and regulations for this. So we have not 
we have not volunteer uh, 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 uh. we have not even seen what they are trying to propose in that way yet okay so I guess until that's ironed out we have no idea when that could happen it should take I'm very positive in my outlook and I am thinking that it should happen very quickly because this is not site to site and so therefore people will remember more but it is still not a violation of the rules and regulations that they originally laid down so I'm thinking that this could be a very exciting period of time for everyone is it like a loophole it is it but is we have yet to see if this kind of site to site brings more memory back to the human human uh, existence but we are feeling that since it is a denser uh, reality that it should do you understand that it is very much more dense uh, than the spiritual and then the matter transfer is even more dense than that so um, we are hoping for great results here Okay. Um, now, Are there questions in the room here. Can we move into the room for one moment? Okay. This is Mark the Older. <laughs> <laughs> um, my question is, how would it be best for us as individuals to prepare for the holographic uh, visitations? Ah, excellent question. You will not have to prepare much because when you get to the qualities you will be given an interview and let they will let you know that they were that um, what all to expect during this however we will let you know when they have chosen that you are going to go and this will be part of the explanation of course because if you they choose for you to go during the day it will be different than if they choose for you to go during the night and I will explain that if if it's necessary so but they will give you an interview they do that anyway when you go astrally they sit you down and tell you what to expect what you're going to see what you're going to experience in the fourth dimension that you are you're coming there from third dimension to third dimension but they will move you into a fourth dimensional situation and this will be even a greater sensation because astral will give you a, a, a lighter sensation than the light being the holographic will give you a greater sensation of what fourth dimension is like so therefore the interview will be slightly different and bring in much more information about that than once prior so this will let you know how much information that you will need. Can I add to that? Because <clears throat> can I add to that, please? Yes. I'm gonna sit on your lap. <laughs> um, I don't know if he meant to also ask. I would imagine many from the human colony would like to be part of this, and how to make sure that we are also included, and at least that we would like to go, and who goes. And for what reason? Thank you. Whenever, very good question. Thank you. She was saying that she, those that want to come holographically will. She wants to know how they're going to know if they Thanks. want to go holographically, if they or if they're going to go just astrally still, because some will not want to go holographically still, and so understandable. When we come to you, this is also part of the rules and regulations that are being ironed out. But my thought process is that when we do come to you, you will tell us which way you, your subconscious will let us know if you want to just go astrally or if you want to go holographically. And you will know, we will know by your reaction what you want to do. Now, if you would like to state it beforehand, if you would like to tell us out loud or write it on the site or whatever you want to do to make sure 
that you are understood, you may do that as well. We will make sure that that happens. Thank you so much, Dicker. You are welcome. All right. Um, that was it for today, Dicker. Yes. Um, I would like to thank you for coming and answering all our questions, giving us the update. Um, and to who would you like to speak to next? Um, I Umak. believe there was an Andromedan there waiting. Also, I don't know. Um, yes, the Andromedan is here. Love to you, Tucker. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank this you. This particular Andromedan is a spirit guide to someone else. Are they wishing to speak right now, or is yes? They want to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And thank you for two years of your company, Takur. It's been beautiful. Thank yes, you. Yes, Takur. Thank, thank you. you. Much, Much love. love. Namaste. Namaste, Takur. Namaste.